my own view, having watched this, and I, it's been so interesting over, I don't know, 20 years reading the same studies, <laughs> many, <laughs> many authored by people on this panel, over and over again with the same <clears throat> solution set, right? We kind of know what needs to get done, and yet somehow we always can't quite bring a lot of it over the finish line. Now, I, I actually think um, the first term we managed to get, obviously, Food Nutrition Bill passed, the Health Care Act has a fair amount of opportunity in it on this agenda, and obviously the Head Start reform is a great start. I actually have one, though, area that I just think we need a lot more creative pu public policy around, and that's finding vehicles to incentivize the expansion of affordable and quality childcare. To me, it's really been the bridge. Uh, I, have, I have young kids, so in, we're at an income level where it's less of an issue, but it's hard at any income level. Um, and if you look at all the research shows that, you know, people fall out of the workforce, this is one of the principal reasons why, and obviously it makes sense, you gotta stay home to deal, to care for your kids, and that's your uppermost priority. And the, the it, if you talk to any family member, we live, in, we live in central Harlem, if you talk to any of the neighbors in our building, it's one of the central things that they're worried about. Uh, we're in a mixed income building, um, lots of people in Section 8, they're pressed on this issue. There is just not enough availability. So while the, the child care tax credit is great and some of the other tax credits are great, if you don't have child care, it doesn't, you can't even obviously get to that point. And so I think public policy solutions, it's a place where we just haven't really cracked the, the code yet.